Hey guys, we need to have a little bit of a chat. I haven't uploaded for the last two weeks because I got my tickets to Taylor Swift and then I did like a video on TikTok about it that went like kind of like got a lot of views for my channel. After that, I was like, well, it's blowing up for like a different reason. It wasn't really related to my business, so it didn't really matter. But then after that, my like whole channel kind of got like, like it like kicked over into TikTok understanding like who I am and how much I upload and things like that. So every video after that has gotten like a significant amount of views that have been really high converters for my business. So essentially, long story short, I just <laughs> had a huge influx of orders after that video. So for like the last 10 days, I pretty much have sold out my whole entire store. I've been like kicked into overdrive, I guess you could say, just organizing everything. I had like a lot of things prepped, like I had a lot of packaging materials, I had a lot of like stationery, I had a lot of material cut, because my, my orders were pretty steady, but now it like just took a whole nother level, like I've completely used up my whole like stationary thing like I don't have anything to pretty up packages when I send them I just have like the basics like your tissue paper and all of that so I had to like do another order of that that's not arriving till Friday and then I did like a pivot on my travel pouches a lady wanted it to put her kindle in her travel pouch and then another lady said can you flip the design to be at the top and then that video got a lot of traction so now I'm like pivoting and doing Kindle covers, which honestly is like so perfect for my business. I never thought of it before because I don't have a Kindle. I'm not a reader. I'm like a listener. I actually really struggle with reading to be honest, but since like this, I don't even know. I think it's like I started researching like some books I wanted to read and I made like a booktopia order. So I have a feeling like my browser history kind of like put me on book top, if that makes sense. Um, it does for me like I've said before, I'm a social media manager, so it's kind of like, oh, if this creator is into books, maybe the videos she makes, book people might like them. So it kind of like went onto BookTok and I'm now like making a specific Kindle case for my next launch. I love this stage of building a community. I'm like, I love talking to everyone in my comments. I love the feedback. Like I'm just, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm grateful because it really is what makes a business. This is exactly like why I exist. I want to be able to take on these requests because the bigger I get, the less like requests I can action as quick as this. I want to make sure I really know my community. So when I do reach the level of having a few employees that are sewing and kind of like moving my products into production, I'll be able to like prep months in advance for what they want and hopefully get it right. Whereas like at the moment I'm taking on these requests, actioning them literally within that same week and then putting them out. So <sighs> I have a whole bunch of footage. It is not aesthetic in any way, shape or form. If you film stuff, you will understand my pain, but my camera has not cooperated. There are no points in my room anymore that because I've rearranged it so much where the camera sits and the angle looks good. I'm way too tall for like all of the, the points so there's nowhere at eye level. So the footage like you're about to probably see is so mismatched but I definitely wanted to get a video out there so I am think I'm two weeks late. I didn't want to be any later than that because I want you guys to see what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, this is so mismatched. I do have like a bit of a social plan and I'm hopefully going to successfully action it all. I only am like <laughs> do what I can do at the moment. I'm obviously prioritizing my orders and things like that. So although like I understand it's like, well, if you're packing orders all day, why don't you just set up your camera? I understand. I tried to do that. It was just like, this looks like a really ugly angle. I'm not even getting my head in this. You'll see. And then it was just like my battery was flat, my card was full, my there was just one thing after the other. So, but hopefully that gives like a little bit of an update. I do have a few exciting things before I get into the manic footage that I 
edit together um, and I thought it would be good to show you. So in a few videos ago you would have seen me prepping like and planning this tote bag design. Well good news it's all worked out amazing. My, the fabric I ordered for it has come through and I've been able to put together two of the prints so I'll show you them now. This is them here. We've got this one here the pink with the daisies and in the video I did make the straps in like the beige calico -y fabric but I did order in some really durable cotton polyester uh, webbing, canvas webbing. So that just makes the straps a lot more durable on the bag and it also saves me sewing the straps which is absolutely pointless. You don't need to do that. So that's that one. And then this one here is like orangey yellow floral. I called it yellow floral, but then I got a comment on my TikTok saying it was orange. I was like, true. <laughs> um, so I've got this one here. This one's my favorite. I love it so much. They all, I in the other video, I did feature a side pocket, but it just was not big enough because this is quite slim for a bag. It's only 15 centimeters. I couldn't really add any bulk and get it like right. I just wasn't like, I just wasn't loving it. So I deleted that completely and then put the pocket on this side here. Um, if you're using this for like a nappy bag, a baby bag, you'd be able to fit like a stack of nappies in there. I reckon. Um, it's completely like lined on the inside but you can fit your phone um, in that one. So I've moved it to the front and then on the inside it's just a completely plain design. I've stuffed it here so you can like see it. But on the inside, oh there's still things in this. It's just plain. So yeah, this is the tote. I don't want to like promise anything right now but I did the tote bag first because in the future I'm redesigning my duffel bag. I have made a duffel in the past but the pattern I used I didn't own. Like you're not allowed to make to resell. So I can't use that pattern, but that duffel design I love. So I need to like rework it by 10%, um, add my own features, delete things I actually don't want to do, and then put it all together again. But that duffel bag is like going to be a bit different and it's going to have the clips on the side with the D hooks and then like the shoulder strap. But I don't want to like get anyone's hopes up if it doesn't come out for Christmas. Don't yell at me. Like this is the bag we're doing first. <laughs> I love this. So yeah, super exciting to update you on the totes. Cutting room. I have to tell you, I have taken over my garage. I'm actually going to show you it now. This sewing room here, I've got like my overlocker, my embroidery machine, my sewing machine, my work desk where I pack orders. I had my whole shelving thing that also had like fabric on it. I've taken a lot of the fabric and like mis miscellaneous organizational things out of that to just be a stock shelf. So that way it's all what is in stock will be on that shelf. And then I moved everything to the garage so I have a lot more space for cutting. And I'll show you that now. So this is everything here. I've got trash bag, patterns, all of my shipping cardboard boxes. And then I've got these boxes here. This one is scraps material that can be made into other things so stuff that is still big enough to be converted into products that are just scraps of other things and then I've got all of the inner lining pieces cut out so I hope to like fill these up so that's for the tote bag that's for the carry-all bag and that's the coin purse and travel pouch so that way it just deletes a step for me I can just pick and choose the lining fabric for everything and then over here, this is my old outdoor table and I've just put some wood on it to make it flat because like the underneath was all rigid and this is what I cut on. So this is the amount of material that goes into one of the tote bags. So that gets cut out, put with the with the wadding and then quilted. So that's all been cut. And then this is my huge wadding roll. You would have seen this be delivered. I'm now onto the second roll of 40 meters. So if that kind of puts into perspective how much I've been doing, hopefully that helps. But that's now the second roll. And yeah, I don't have my car in here. I completely like, I even decluttered all of my shoes. This is all my market stuff that I completely cleaned up. 
I'm so tempted to get rid of it. Like all of our camping gear and like normal garage things I've like completely tidied. Like this was a mess before. Like you couldn't even really see the floor. My car still fits in here, but I don't have the car in here at this current moment. But that is the garage all taken over, <laughs> which is fun. And it's nice and cold in here, but in the summer, it'll get really hot. So I'm not sure what I'll do in here. I don't even know what's happened, but like one of my videos where I was packing an order has only got like 10,000 views on TikTok, but it's like generated me heaps of followers. And there's literally like over 200 ses sessions from on my website and all of these orders have come through and it's only like 12 o'clock. So I've literally hit the ground running this morning straight in here packing orders. I've got two packed and I need to make it to the post office before 4 o'clock obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically just going through them and my next is this one here. It's a curate your own. Um, strawberry travel pouch, a blueberry flower keychain wristlet, and a blueberry flower travel pouch with ruffles. So that's the order I'm working on right now. This one is um, a custom one, so a travel pouch and a ruffle travel pouch. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been up to. Everything is heckins in here, but this is what it is. We're getting through it. Um, let's see. I guess I'm just gonna have this like time lapsing because everything's like a bit of a mess. <laughs> Good morning. I genuinely do not know what happened yesterday. <laughs> I'm in the sewing room this morning early. I have like gluten face as well. I'm really puffy because we ate from like a new takeaway restaurant last night and now Josh and I feel so sick. And when it's like bad quality gluten, I get like really puffy. I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> So this is my list of orders this morning. I genuinely want to make and post all of these today, but that'll be a mission. I'm going to try and do two post office runs. 